Hello, and welcome to this edition of the CSIAC podcast series. In this episode, we are going to explore the process of hypertext markup language, HTML smuggling. A new malware has been identified that utilizes a combination of HTML smuggling techniques with HTML5 and JavaScript code. This new malware downloads data stored in binary large objects, blobs, and installs the malware on the computer of the unsuspecting victim. Analysis reveals that the malware was not generated by a URL, but by JavaScript code. HTML smuggling is complex and requires continuous defensive security measures. It was previously utilized with Dropbox for file sharing purposes. Phishing emails are now being used to increase its success rate. An attacker will constantly change his strategies as a means to evade security measures and make detection more difficult. An occurring cybercrime, referred to as the Dury Campaign, has been active since July 2020. Its goal is to utilize HTML5 or JavaScript to send malicious file downloads to its victims. Dury can bypass network security features, including firewalls and legacy proxies, to deliver malicious code. This type of attack is launched by sending a malicious phishing link to potential targets of interest. Once the link is launched, Attackers use a JavaScript blob to smuggle a malicious file onto the user's computer through the browser. HTML smuggling gets installed in various ways. Let's examine a few of these. The first is by phishing. Attackers send a malicious phishing email link to an unsuspecting user. The victim then clicks on the zip file, which executes an MSI file. Once the zip file is opened, it fetches another zip file from a remote location with a JPEG extension that contains the malicious payload. The malicious site triggers the download through HTML smuggling. The zip file is dynamically constructed from the blob with multi-purpose internet mail extensions, MIME, while Octet Stream is being downloaded onto the victim's computer. In our final method, HTML smuggling is delivered via a data URL onto the client computer similar to a phishing link. A data URL is a scheme that provides a way to include data on a web page. Now let's explore some ways to mitigate HTML smuggling. The first effective measure is to disable JavaScript. However, HTML smuggling uses legitimate features of HTML5 combined with JavaScript. Unfortunately, disabling JavaScript is not a viable option. There really is no practical option in modern browsers to disable blobs or data URLs. Therefore, Total prevention of HTML smuggling is considered improbable.
The second method is early detection. While it appears simple to develop antivirus signatures so the malware can be quarantined, due to obfuscation and other JavaScript techniques, there are virtually unlimited ways to code HTML smuggling. Thus, it becomes nearly impossible to detect all variation and many of these techniques are used on legitimate websites. The third method entails the best security process, defense in depth. Malicious content can be delivered at any time to the workplace, regardless of how your per perimeter security is locked down. CIOs need to carefully observe and monitor what is behind their perimeter. Finally, there is the guidance provided by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST. NIST has recommended that administrators follow the instructions noted in three common vulnerabilities and exposures, CVEs. CVE-2020-1935 notes that some HTTP header parsing code allowed invalid HTTP headers on Apache Tomcat servers, which may allow the possibility of HTML smuggling. In CVE-2020-1944, vulnerability in Apache traffic servers has been modified and is awaiting further reanalysis. Finally, in CVE-2020-11724, an issue was discovered in OpenResty, which allows HTTP request smuggling. In summary, with any malicious campaign, there is always contact with a victim that allows the malware to be executed. Adversaries are continuously trying to access per personal information. Threat actors continue to rely on older attack methods, such as HTML smuggling, that are still successful. However, attackers are constantly improving their tactics to evade and bypass security. HTML smuggling is often used to deliver the payload to the end user without network solutions blocking it. We must all remain vigilant and aware of these phishing techniques. Companies need to constantly train their employees on how to identify phishing techniques. IT departments need to adhere to strict monitoring of any anomalies on the network. For more information on this topic, you can check out the following references. On behalf of the CSIAC, we would like to thank you for viewing this podcast. We hope you found the content useful and informative. If you would like to provide us with feedback, please comment on this video or visit our website at www.csiac.org, where you can also find additional content to review. Thank you. Did you know that CSIAC offers free monthly webinars featuring experts in the areas of cybersecurity, software engineering, modeling and simulation, and knowledge management? Come see leading industry professionals talk about industry practices and leading research. Make sure to visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars in order to subscribe to our mailing list and see when the next webinar series is available. There you can also watch previous webinar series to catch up.
visit www.csiac.org forward slash webinars.